Hey everybody, Gina DeLuca here. Okay, so I guess today what we'll be tackling, uh, I want to address pouring on a budget. Um, this can be an expensive art form for sure. Uh, and a lot of people try to save money um, wherever they can. I'm a full-time musician and artist, so I get it. Uh, one thing, um, one way you can get a big painting out of a tiny bit of paint. Uh, for instance, I have some leftover paints here. I have Artist Loft Copper, Artist Loft Old Gold, Artist Loft Metallic White, and Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. And I have a mix here of Artist Loft White and Gold in the Flow Acrylic. These uh, have been mixed one part paint to two parts Floetrol, and then water added, uh, my water and Floetrol mixture, that's 90% water and 10% Floetrol. I add that uh, to consistency. And I actually need a squirt in here. I mixed up a bit more base coat because I wanted to demonstrate how to get a bigger painting with a smaller amount of paint. This is uh, a great way when you only have a little bit of paint left. You know, I just did two paintings um, with, uh, there were these three ounce cups, so four of these, and I mixed up I guess in total about five ounces of the uh, base coat and I just added a little bit so I would definitely have enough to cover this canvas which is a 10 by 20. Um, so a great way to maximize the usage of a little bit of paint is a flip and drag. So, let me actually put a drop, and I mean like as little as humanly possible, of the Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Hair Serum. That is your silicone. It has dimethicone in it, as well as some other stuff which seems to make magnificent cells. So I will put one drop, come on, one, <laughs> get in there. I don't want to squirt it in there, so I'm trying to be very, very careful. And I'm gonna mix it in pretty well because this stuff is super thick. and you want it to be dispersed. More watery silicones like the three-in-one um, or the blaster silicone, uh, you can get away with not stirring it quite as much, but this stuff, I really, really feel like it needs to be fully incorporated or you will wind up with ugly pits on your painting. So first let me lay down my base coat. I'm really digging this um, the gold and the white together. It just makes a very rich creamy color. that I quite like. So 
So as far as uh, saving money with the kinds of paints that you buy, craft paints do not have as much pigment as artist paints and they contain a lot more water. So, you know, if you get a craft paint for $2 and it's a two ounce bottle, you're paying a dollar an ounce and you may get about four ounces of paint, pourable paint, once you add your medium. Because they're so thin, um, you can't really uh, add too much pouring medium, like you couldn't do a three to one or maybe even a two to one without losing some of your pigment, uh, you know, the intensity. Now, artist loft paints, you know, they're a beginner grade, student grade paint, and they are usually I believe it's five dollars for the four ounce bottle. Um, you can get them on sale. When they go on sale, I've gotten them for under two dollars each. Sometimes they have a 30% off sale and then they'll have another or a 40% off sale and then they'll have a 25% off your entire purchase. So I've been able to get them, uh, I mean, 50% off is, is not hard to get, so figure 250. And if you wanted to go for the most bang for your buck, um, the bigger sizes are even cheaper. Although sometimes it is cheaper to buy the smaller ones. It depends on their sale. Um, you know, so do the math. But because it's thicker and has more pigments than a craft paint, you use less. So for this three ounce cup of paint, I use less than an ounce of paint maybe three quarters, um, maybe even a half an ounce. And then I add two ounces of Floetrol and then I add water. And I'm getting almost three ounces of paint out of that. Um, so you really get a lot more bang for your buck. Even though it seems more expensive you get a lot more uses out of it. And the, and the better paint that you use, the higher quality the paint, the, uh, the higher ratios you can go and the more money you actually save because you need less paint. Some of the golden acrylics, I would need like a, a pea size, like literally the size of a pea for this whole cup. So although it is more expensive, technically, at the end of the day, you will wind up using less and therefore not spending as much money. And I am all about the budget. Believe you, you. I live on the Maryland and Pennsylvania line and I was informed by uh, one of the ladies in the neighborhood that Pennsylvania does not have sales tax on their clothing. I had no idea, I've been here for four years. <laughs> I'm 45 minutes away from civilization in either direction. Now on, when I, when I need clothes, I'm heading north. I got goosebumps when she told me that. I like to save money. 
torch. There we go. Let's get rid of the bubbles. Okay, so I have here a one ounce cup, little teeny tiny one ounce cup that I've poked some holes in. Don't know if you can see that. There's holes poked in there. And I've taped it up on the bottom so that I can put the paint in and it doesn't come out until I want it to. One ounce is more than enough paint to do a flip and drag on this. So let's put some colors in a cup, shall we? Yes, I did put the silicone in it. Okay, I'll do some blue. I love the copper with that blue, so we'll do the copper. Some gold. Some metallic white. And I need to set this down. The rest of the gold here. Okay. Oh, I have a little more white. Let's just use it up. Okay, let me get these cups out of the way, uh, flip it this way, and I'm just going to slide that onto the corner, I'm going to let it breathe for a second, I'm going to let the paint settle. When you're doing a flip cup, you want your cup to be as close to the size of the amount of paint that you need. If you have a bigger cup, like if I were to put this amount of paint in one of these cups, it will be nothing but mud by the time it hits my canvas. So I recommend having a plethora of sizes. Um, I have one ounce, I have three five, eight, 12, and 16, I think, are the sizes that I use the most. All right. So this was about a quarter ounce, ounce of each of these colors. Basically just leftovers from my last pours. I will remove the tape. Hold that cup down when you do that or it will take off on you. And then I'm just going to slowly move this around. I'm going to let it push that paint
have some spots here where I push down too hard. And I can see bare canvas and that is a no-no. So, just touch those spots up. You can just swipe it. There's always a way. There's always a way to fix it. Well, maybe not always, but <laughs> often. There's often a way to fix it. All right, let me feather these edges out a bit. All right. We wash up and I'll bring you in for a close up. Okay, here it is, a flip and drag. Some really pretty lacing. And that metallic white really pops with the off-white background. And so you'll really be able to see that sparkle once it's dry. Lots of lacing. And that was one ounce of paint to cover a 10 by 20 canvas. Well, not cover it, but enough to make a composition. And um, so if you're on a budget, flip and drags are your friend. But also, as mentioned before, take a look at the uh, student grade but artist quality paints like sit down and really do your math on that and and see if it's really worth it to use the craft paint because you have to use so much more of it uh, you know I did the math before and it was not um, really much of a benefit uh, 
to use the craft paint. I get a I get a lot of uses out of just those four ounce tubes. So uh, there you have it. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. And uh, please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, have a beautiful day, y'all. Go make some art.